We'd been to college together, Cambridge University, and we got to know each other there. And he called me up and I said, said he'd written this uh, science fiction comedy series for radio. And uh, finally, after much hesitation, the BBC uh, commissioners had uh, commissioning editors had, uh, had agreed to go ahead with the pilot. He said uh, I was the only one he could think of. As the years have gone by, I think actually he's probably thought I was the only person who could actually do an impersonation of him. Because in many ways... As the years have gone by, I've realized that the character of Arthur is much more based on him than it is on me. Yeah, he's always searching for a decent cup of tea, spends a lot of time in the bath, panics easily, um, yeah, can't quite keep up with time. Um, I always thought rather similar to, to Douglas rather than to me. Though, I mean, we have similarities, it has to be said. I think an argument could be made the other way as well. But uh, so we did um, a radio pilot in 1977. God, that long ago. And the BBC commission, commissioning editors had no idea what it was about, but they said to the producer, well, if you think it's funny, you'd better go and do a series. So we did. Uh, the series was written as we went, so we had no idea how it was going to end, and nor did Douglas. But somehow or other, with sh odd sheets of paper, we finally finished the first series. It was put out because the BBC still didn't have quite enough faith in it at the unusual time of 10.30pm on a Tuesday night. They're hoping to cover their bets. If it was a complete failure, then nobody would notice. As they say now, if they wanted to build up a cult, that was a way of doing it too. Well, the latter is what happened. People were, for some reason or another, as they tend to be more so in England, tuned into the radio, um, even at that hour. Sometimes you're listening to the news or making cocoa or putting the cat out or going to bed. And uh, people were intrigued, even if they picked up on the second or third episodes. And for the first and only time, I believe, in BBC history, uh, they were forced by public um, pressure to repeat it immediately. So that's when people began to realize that there was something interesting going on here. People were seeing beyond the science fiction and seeing the satire of bureaucracy and, uh, and the cleverness of the jokes. Of course, all these years later, there are so many parts of it that are part of the, uh, of the language.